Composition Using Beer Cans by Doris Charest. Here we're going to analyze the beer can design and we're going to see if it works in paintings. So you have black at the bottom with letters on top and then a big cowboy with a big cowboy hat. You have in the area, a, that's his jacket or his shirt, and on the top you have more text and elements on each side. Now, what did they repeat? They repeated the black, and then they put black at the top, plus they put black in the areas around the face, and also the shirt. On this side, there's black. And then they repeated the red as well. So they added uh, here, they added more blue and more white. Here they added a little bit of a design with black. So black is repeated there and there and there. And that brings your eye around the painting. So it's repeating the elements. And as you see those elements, what happens is your eye goes around the design or the painting and looks at all of it. If we just had one big black spot, we wouldn't look at all of the design. So here their goal is for us not only to look at the cowboy, but to look at the text that's around there. So they surround the whole area with light blue and a reddish color at the bottom. And then they start repeating colors. So here they have the red-ish color against the text. They have the blue in the background. They have repeated white, red, and black. So how can we do this in paintings? Repeating. So here's a flower painting. You have the main focus area. You have repeated elements. The Petals are all repeated elements, as are the leaves in the background. So you're repeating greens, you're repeating yellowish greens, yellow in the green, and you have purple, and you're repeating blue. You have some blue in the, some of the background, and you have black that is to emphasize the shapes, just like in the beer can. Now we'll take a second painting. This is a different style. You have the main focus right there, the face, the dark elements are repeated at the top and the bottom. You have blue in those black elements and it's repeated around the face. But we are drawn around the face by all these designs, just like in this beer can design. Now here's another one. You have the trumpet with circles of color that go around the trumpet and elements that support it and bring our eye towards the trumpet. You have music, you have text, you have the hand and the figure, and the colors are repeated. And this is just like the design in the beer can. So there you go. You can do the same thing in your paintings as the beer can designers do. So this is it. We'll see you in the next video for another analysis of beer cans.